Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac ASP.NET CSR tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create change password page with the SQL server in ASP.NET CSR. So, I am just going to open the Visual Studio. So, here is the process are create the empty website. So, if you want to uh, use the new, new website, then you have to create the website. There is a process to create the Microsoft Visual Studio. Go to the file, new and then website, then create the process then there is option uh, uh, part two is that create the change password page so change password page we create that so before doing the change password we should know should know the what is the change password change password page is where we can change the password and for the change password we should know the old password whatever the password is there for previous password we should know for that we can go for the change password page so I'm opening the Visual Studio. We already learned about the, how to create the login page, registration page, registration page, and activate account page, and confirm login with 10, uh, 10 minutes OTP page, and forget password page. So we'll learn, uh, learn about this page. Now I am going to create the page for change password page. So right click on your application name, go to the add, and there is your options, add new item. So add new item. I'm going to create the page change password so this is a change password I'm given the name for the change password place code in a separate file I want the .cs file in the separate file so I'm going through that and I'm not created any master page so leave it uh, unchecked so click on ok so this is created the uh, change password file so go to there there is a one more file is there dot cs file this is code side uh, code side file whatever the database connectivity will write will write in this page so first in the change password create the text boxes so we can uh, let me go go to the tools Click on label and react tag. I'm creating one text box. So go to the tools and create, uh, just select the text box. Use the react tag. So this is I create old password, new password, custom password. old old password i'm giving the name for the text box old password and second label i'm giving the new password new password and last one is the text box new so submitting this data I need one button so I am checking the button in ID for the change PWD let me run this page here in browser or you can run through there there is option so old password new password confirm password and submit is created now i'm i'm taking one h1 tag so change password so change password page is created but change password page is always work with the session because you should know the old password then new password then confirm password so all so for that i will check the session before that so here we all uh, already created the login page and there is a registration page also uh, let me check with the 
So in login page, let me check uh, registration page, home page, home page. Okay. Let me check what what is the name of the session. So session email. Let me check session. If session email double equal to Double equal to null, then I'm going to redirect response dot redirect. I'm going to redirect this page to login page. So my login page is login dot so Let me open this page again. Yeah, this redirect to the login page. So what I'll do, I'll just log in first, then I'll go to the change password page. So let me check with the database what is the login username and password so in chirag and purab is the password and chirag so in chirag i am taking this one and purab is the password so this and password is so yeah i'm logged in okay so now i can open the change password page change password so now it's opening change password so here we'll check the old password then new password i'll put the new password then confirm password so here for the button i'll just create the on click function on on click here i will write the code so we already discussed about the code many times so i am going to write the code directly so i need this assembly the helping the configuration data and SQL client okay and second One more level I'm taking for the error message. Whatever the error message will come, will display on that. So I'm giving the LBL error message ID for that. <coughs> okay. So here I just okay. I have to take the connection string. So we already discussed about that, how to connect with a database. So if you go to the web.config, there is a connection string. So here we are writing the connection string, local host, then database name, then user ID and password. So with that, the connection string name, I will pass here, connection string name. So connection will call here and con is our connection string. Uh, SQL connection name so con dot open select user ID from user info where password is equal to let me check old old password okay where email is uh, email is equal to session of email whatever the email we have kept in the session why I am doing this because in session we are right uh, we are keeping the without session we are not working with for the change password so for that i'm just checking with the email address in the session on that email address only it will 
just uh, check the password is correct or not if password is correct then then execute reader we read the data and we'll go to the forward so i'm closing this one here and uh, this one new password new password is equal to confirm password so new password text dot trim is equal to confirm password text dot trim if both the password is correct then only then we are we are going to if condition will satisfy then we'll go inside and we'll just open the connection and update you just set password new password where email is equal to session of email be careful uh, writing on this line because this why i'm taking a single quotes and double quotes double quotes we started with the double quotes so i'm ending there and i'm appending the new sent uh, new string here so for that plus and this single quotes are why i'm writing because this is a string and a string we don't we can't pass directly so inside the single quotes we will pass the string for that we are writing that so command and execute non query we are executing this one and this will satisfy then we write in password change successfully and if the password password and confirm password is not same then we will get error new password and uh, repeat password is not same or we can write that confirm confirm password is not same or if our old password is incorrect then we will write that old password is incorrect so this is the process we will check it so let me run and let me check that what will be available with the website let me click on submit so incorrect old password i'm writing something wrong password errors incorrect old password then i'm writing the correct password for that old password and here i'm writing wrong password SS, ssd here is the three digit here is the four digit so i'm going to submit so new password and confirm password is not same <coughs> one more thing i want to hide the password means uh, dot dot like that so for that what i'll do i'll just add the text mode text mode equal to password so I use the text mode is equal to password for all the text field. So here I'll write the pura don't visible here I'll write Kirag and so let me submit. Yeah, password and confirm password. Okay, this so is not same. Let me again. password change successfully so here is the option that is the different thing <coughs> so password change successfully let's come to the database so my old password name copy and keeping friends put on the password now i am running the query again so there is a password is changed to here so in this video we will learn how to change the password to change password page with the SQL Server and sp.csr application. Hope it it will help. Thank you for watching.